Uh, hey, design and modeling students. Welcome. I'm on a roll. So let's go ahead and do pixel art part three. I'm turning this beautiful two dimensional drawing into a three dimensional form. So here we go. And drag that to the left or to the right. And what I'm going to try to do right now is put this big white shape right here into this object. I'm going to teach you how to use the dimensioning tool when you don't have stuff that's connected to the edge. Doing the black lines was very easy because I just had to start at the edge and then come in one inch and you know drop it down. Um, there were very clear starting points. Since this white spot is in the middle of my object, I need to dimension it correctly. So what I'm going to do is say start 2D sketch. I'm going to click right there on that surface and I know that my um, white spot is going to be 4 by 1 and then it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 by 3 and then it's going to be another 4 by 1. So I'm going to use my two point and I'm simply going to draw a four by one then I'm going to draw a six six by three and then I'm going to draw a four by one I know I have well, let's. That's perfect. Those are the three shapes I need: a four by one, a three by six, and a four by one. So now I'm going to use this dimension tool, and I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to make sure that this six by three is where I want it. So I'm going to click on that point, and I'm going to click on that point, and I need it to be one inch. So I'm going to change this distance right here to one. And what that did was scoot. It scooted my 4x1 over. So this right here should also be 1 inch. And it is. So, perfect. Yeah, it doesn't want me to change it. I don't want to change it. I just wanted to confirm that it was actually 1 inch. So, that is the exact size. And it's, uh, it's nice. It's how I want it to be. However, I need to make sure that it's w in this space exactly where I want it to be. So it needs to be one, two, three, four down from the top. So I come over here to Autodesk, zoom out a little bit, and I need it to be four inches down from this line. So I click on that line, I come down here to this green line, and I impatient I wait a second and then I click again whoops that's why you gotta be super patient sometimes it lags just a little so click on the top line I'm even gonna zoom in a little bit there we go I got it so I'm going to drag that out here, and I'm going to change it to 4. I almost drew it perfectly. Now, check my drawing again. I need it to be 1, 2, 3, 4 from that edge right there. So I'm going to click on that edge. Then I'm going to zoom in and get this this line right here so wait a second make sure it's not lagging click and see I missed it dimensioning is a little challenging so dimension click then I need to get this right here maybe I'll just do that point that would that would work out there we go so Zoom out, drag it up here, 
click, change it to four. Check my time. Oh, way over. Maybe we'll stop there. Finish sketch. And we'll extrude it in the next video. Part four. So many parts.